Hey there, it's Jay once again with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. In today's episode, we have five games to look at. A compilation of mini-games, a psychological thriller, some jumping ninjas, a crazy good point-and-click adventure, and a real retro arcade game. Let's go! Frontier Heroes American History is a stunning collection of mini-games dedicated to, well, American history. Any tough guy or respectable lady can find a game they like. You want to become a brave Indian, a greedy gold miner, or introduce Benjamin Franklin to electricity? What's the problem then? Please don't think that the game is for kids. The first level alone gives you the opportunity to spell a dictionary of dirty words from A to Z. And would you just look at that art style? Long story short, I strongly recommend it. You may have already heard about a game called Knock Knock. This is a very scary horror game. Like, very. The main goal appears to be simple. Survive till dawn in this spooky house. But it's not that easy, because there are suicidal ghosts, objects that creepily move on their own, and time itself can go backwards. Hmm, you can't really feel it with me blathering over it, so I'll give you a minute. Okay, now you get it. Ninja Up is a cool option for those who are fed up with playing horror games. Raise your hand if you don't like pixels, ninjas, and game loft. Well, even if you did raise your hand, I can't see it. Ninja Up is a jumper. Jump up like in Doodle Jump, except you're drawing trampolines while jumping from one to the other. The shorter your trampoline is, the more difficult it is to land on, and the higher you'll jump. In general, your goal is to get ahead of all your friends and get launched into space and see UFOs. After all, what else could ninjas possibly exist for? So the next one is... Oh no, not this one. Right, the inner world. If you like fun and dynamic point-and-click adventures with an interesting plot and colorful graphics, then you'll really like the inner world. You'll delve into a magical world of Asposia that is inside of our Earth. The only sources of life in this world are three wind fountains that get broken at the most inopportune moment. And our task, as you can devise, is to fix everything. Believe me, you'll experience unforgettable adventures and have hours of fun. And the last game on our list is Devious Dungeon. It's a real retro platformer with RPG elements. As usual, the kingdom is in danger. And as usual, blah blah this and blah blah that. That's not important. What is important is that each mob in the game has its own personality, abilities, and hit points, which gives you the opportunity to, that's right, think. I think you'll agree that arcade games just don't do that often enough. There's also character progression, a lot of different loot, and nice graphics. Well, I see I'm running out of time, and I need to wrap it up. So, that's all for today. What you need to do is download, subscribe to our channel, like the video, and our Facebook page. This was Jay, with reviews from Mob.org. See you!